Hey, Mike here. Someone on Gearspace was asking me about the Kai Force uh, and if it's easy to sample with. Uh, yes and no. It's The no part being you have to get to know your way around this, but yes, it is easy to sample with. In fact, it auto samples, so it does the work for you. Um, I'm going to sample a patch from the DeepMind. First, I'm going to add a, a MIDI slot. And... I'm going to set the output to force. And then I'm going to go to the menu and look for the sampler. And as you see, there's a level. I've got the cables coming in here. But uh, we don't hear it. I need to turn the monitor on. So I'm going to go to auto sampling and input one and two. Uh, note range, um, I'm going just C2 to C4. Um, here you can do the different octaves, but uh, I'm just going to do one note per octave for this. So once every 12 notes. And instead of four layers, I'm going to just do one, but you can do four layers. So you can start with a low velocity value and then up to the hardest hit. But I'm just going to do one, but this sound sounds better when played softly. So I'm going to take this, oh, not that far, well, right around there. And sampling, we're going to sample it for, uh, let's see, maybe nine seconds, because it's a pretty long sweep. I'm not going to worry about the tail this time. Here's the name. And I'll call this DM Sweep. Here's looping, uh, alternating, which goes back and forth, reverse. I'm just going to do forwards. And I'm going to start the loop towards the end, about six seconds. And then here's the crossfade. So I'm just going to say 500 samples and it will auto trim the start points automatically. I'm going to make it the current track and it's going to take 20 seconds. So I say do it and it will play the deep mind by itself. That's it. If you set it for like every other note or even every note, you could walk away and this will do the task by itself. So I'm going to turn this down and my DM sweep should be right there. Um, I'm going to get rid of the MIDI version. So let me delete that and we'll stick with the sweep. And I'm going to go into note mode. I'm going to make these notes. So here we are. Uh, I've got to do a little work with the velocity. So track edit. And I'm going to take it off of velocity on this because this is the layer play. So and we're just doing one layer. So there's that. I go to the next uh, key zone. And then if you want to pitch it, transpose it. You can. So 
that's right there in my matrix. This is kind of like the mixer. And if you wanted to add like an effect, you could. Uh, you could add four effects, but um, let's let's check out here. Like a flanger. And if you don't like it, um, oh, oh wow. You can go really deep. If you don't like it, you can just get rid of it with the trash can. So I'm going to add a drum kit because you can add samples to drum kits. So there's all these kits in here, UK house. Future bass. So here's my drum kit. That's a cool sound. But I'm gonna get rid of it with a sample. So I'm gonna load a sample from my hard drive. I put a two terabyte drive in there, my SSD. So I've got my uh, Sound Dogs library that I, I use for, for films. Um, Fairlight library, which uh, is for uh, DaVinci uh, Resolve. Okay, I'm going to load that lighter. And because I press that key, it'll go to this key. Let's load something else to the next key. Cocaine snort. All right, I don't know if that's good for YouTube, but it was snort. Lighter, snort. Uh, let me go to something else. So Blue Zone is a company, that, and they're very reasonable, and they sell sound effects and uh, like tank. Let's see, Art artillery. Let's see what do we got here. So I'm gonna press this key and load it, and now that is on that key. So if I want this sound to be uh, on every key, I can go to the uh, track edit and let's see. press keys and now and when I look at the matrix, it's uh, they've made a, a whole program for me here. And then the uh, drum kit is still next to it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, all those uh, folders are from my computer and I just uh, put it in computer mode and transferred them over. And because I've got two terabytes, it's like, it's nothing. So I can also add other plugins or sounds or audio tracks, but um, Let's go to, that defaults to the hype synth. Let's see. Let's put in, uh, this person was asking about the FM synth. So I'm gonna select that. And let me go to track edit so you can see what's going on with it. Here's the display and you can just move the uh, envelope like this, like I was doing earlier, but. And then uh, it's got a ton of filters, um, like here, let me check out the fil filter list here. As you see a lot of filters uh, looping envelopes, uh, some really cool stuff. So here's those. Yeah, it lets you know uh, with the arrows whether it's uh, distance or level. So 
or I should say rate and level. Um, let's add another thing. Another plugin. And Jura. That's pretty cool. That's the Juno clone. Select. So let's take a look at that. So there's the display for that. for a lot of the functions or just touch the screen. And then if you want to just add uh, like um, uh, bread and butter sounds, let's see, another plugin. We could go to um, like fabric. Let's see, there's fabric. And then uh, let's see, main. But you could do uh, some pianos or not well, just like brass orchestra, things like that. Some of the sounds take a second to load. And these, these notes, you can set them to play chords, or, or you can just play chords on here. But let's see, let me go to something that can actually, I'm looking for a piano or a, <laughs> let's see. All right, so you hold the note mode and you can set it to uh, play um, chords right here. And of course, you can go in and set different kinds of, of chords. Um, so I, I go back to my scales. Whenever there's a key uh, lit up up here, that, that means it's the same note, and you just go to the next one. If I wanted to add even more, I could just scoot over and add something else. And so you can, you can add a few things. It does have a limit, uh, depending on what it is. But uh, MIDI tracks, I think it's 128. I hope that helps and uh, have a good one.